castor oil benefits for diabetics from warts to skin tags a lot of things we are going to talk about today it's a nuisance for everyone right warts and skin tags especially if you have diabetes who may already be dealing with insulin resistance and as you know the tags the skin tags are a sign of insulin resistance so we're going to talk about the benefits of castor oil today i start with the skin tags because that's the most annoying <laughs> but you will hear a lot of benefits today so luckily we have a natural and effective solution that won't break the bank or require a prescription and that's called castor oil this magical oil gets right to the root of the problem leaving you with smoother skin in no time simply apply it onto the affected area cover it up with a bandage and leave it to work its magic overnight like a wizard on a mission to rid you of those pesky spots plus with no harsh chemicals or side effects castor oil is a win-win for anyone who wants to feel comfortable in their own skin i know you want to learn more about this oil right or you already do but i want to remind you something quick for those looking to stay informed and when i get my secret information that i don't even mention in this channel about diabetes especially if you want to get some daily emails or it may not be daily but maybe a couple times a week maybe it'll make a big difference you need to go to sugarmds.com because we offer a newsletter that i personally write with a personalized information for you to keep you updated on the latest news and ideas and tricks so check it out welcome to the world of being a diabetic i'm sorry but there's a lot of problems with the skin which is one of them is dry skin is just par for the course but fear not castor oil is here to save the day this magical oil is chock full of ricinoleic acid which is a monounsaturated fatty acid that does wonders for moisturizing the skin plus it acts as an occlusive moisturizer which is just a fancy way of saying that it helps prevent water loss through the skin it is no wonder that the castor oil is a popular ingredient in cosmetics from lotions to makeup to cleansers that you pay an arm and a leg to buy with so many potentially harmful ingredients lurking in those store-bought moisturizers it is a relief to have a natural alternative like castor oil sure it is thick but why not mix it with some almond or olive or coconut oil for some ultra hydrating concoction just be sure to watch out for any allergic reactions we don't want that because who needs that on top of the insulin resistance right we are already dealing with that as a diabetic it is like one minute you are happily strolling along and then in the blink of an eye bam you've got an ulcer on your foot but fear not castor oil may just be your new best friend not only does applying it to the wounds create a moist environment that can help prevent sores from drying out but it is even found in vinylax which is a fancy ointment that is used in clinical settings to help with the healing of all sorts of wounds including those pesky diabetic ulcers and get this the main fatty acid found in castor oil ricinoleic acid has an anti-inflammatory and pain reducing properties who knew something as simple as an oil from a castor plant could be so magical right now if only it could cure insulin resistance we would be all set but let me tell you this gum line super big issue among diabetics pay attention to your gum line right here because it will cause insulin resistance it will give you heart disease but did you know that wearing dentures can also be a concern so that sneaky candida fungus loves to hang out on the dentures just so you know it causes inflammation it redness irritation it's called like a denture stomatitis not to fear castor oil again a magical solution for all of our problems may actually help one study found that soaking contaminated acrylic teeth 
in castor oil for 20 minutes can reduce the number of harmful bacteria and fungus. And it's not just for dentures. A 2013 study showed that using castor oil containing mouthwash also improved the clinical signs of stomatitis, which is mouth inflammation in older individuals. So, an oil that is traditionally used for hair could also be a lifesaver for our mouth. Isn't that crazy? As if being a diabetic weren't tough enough, what else we have to deal with? Hair loss, brittle hair. Shh, talk about the adding insult to the injury. But fear not, my friend, I have something to tell you. Some people swear by the power of castor oil as a natural hair treatment. Apparently, it has moisturizing properties. Of course, it does for the skin. Why not for the hair, right? It can lubricate the hair shaft, making it more flexible and less prone to breakage. However, let me put my serious hat for a moment and tell you that there is currently no scientific evidence. Come on, I'm an MD. I have to look for scientific evidence. Yeah, I'm a holistic, but I cannot just BS you. So take it with a grain of salt or a dash of cinnamon because, you know, diabetes and so forth. But as for using castor oil on your eyelashes, forget about it. <laughs> There's no such thing. There is no research that proves that works. So don't believe everything you hear. But if you're dealing with dandruff, castor oil could help. Just don't expect it to magically cure the problem on its own. All in all, castor oil may not be the miracle that you have been looking for, but it can still be worth as a try, as long as you're not allergic to it. Finally, let's talk about migraines. Everybody has got something, right? Migraines are so common. Did I already give you a migraine for talking too much? But seriously, especially medications like Ozempic, Victoza, Trulicity, Monjero, you guys are taking those medications, I know, you cannot lie to me. They trigger migraines. If you didn't know, hello, but instead of popping those over-the-counter pain relievers, why not give our pal castor oil a chance? If you gently massage it onto your forehead, it can actually ease tension and reduce that inflammation and send you straight to relaxation station. Remember, one thing to remember, you have to sign up to the newsletter, sugarmbs.com, for some awesome information and some great deals. I'll see you later. Hasta la vista, baby. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it, and if you did, Watch this video right there, I think that will help you too.